Hey everyone, this is Sam from Wargamer Online, and we've got another part, uh, another tutorial, should I say. This is a skin tone tutorial, and it's taken from a larger premium video on wargameronline.com, and this is of the Abaddon miniature from Wargame Exclusive, and it's the Black Legion premium video that I'm referring to. So we're going to go over just quickly how I painted the skin on this, because if you want to use this sort of um, method on your own models it gives you a nice demonic or chaotic look to the skin it's very easy to achieve it's using I think five paints in total you can mix extra layers in between all of this to blend the skin a little bit nicer if you really want to but this is just a quick job and it's designed to to get your models done to a tabletop standard as quickly as possible so that you can start playing games So the model's been primed with Chaos Black and we're just using Rakarth Flesh. We're doing quite a thin layer of Rakarth Flesh onto the face. And um, we're gonna need to do at least three very thin coats of this just to build it up over the black. If you were gonna prime it with a white, you would probably get away with maybe two coats of this because we're gonna do multiple layers over the top of it anyway. Uh, once it's completely done, making sure we're going into all these little nooks and crannies, there's loads of recesses on this model in particular, so I'm making sure I go into all of those first. But we're gonna be using Juji Violet. So one step I've done just after using this Rakarth flesh is I've painted, I've painted all of the um, silver cables and things that are around his face area, um, probably giving him life support in some sense. But the Druchi Violet is just to tint it. And we're putting this all over the face. He's got these nasty little crevices in his head as well where you can see the, the purple is pooling and it looks really... Well, it looks, it looks nice in a nasty way. It looks chaotic. And this guy has been uh, around since the 30th. Well, Warhammer 30K, basically, the Horus Heresy. He's been around since then. So a lot of stuff's happened. Uh, I imagine he's been gifted by the Chaos Gods many, many times. And he's going to be starting to look a little bit... A bit more angrier than he ever started off as. So uh, that's what we're going to try and do with this. We're using Rakar Flesh and Flayed One Flesh here. And we're doing our first highlight and you can see I'm just focusing this around all of the raised areas it, it is more of a layer and I'm painting in some lines I'm adding some texture to all of this and going around all of these little bits of skin flaps that are around the uh, the, the um, gaps in his head I'm also adding some frown lines because I imagine he's not too happy he's always quite angry not as angry as corn but he's getting there so we're just adding some frown lines by painting very thin little lines with this. The next step is to add Flayed One Flesh, and we're doing this in exactly the same way. We're just painting the raised areas again, making sure that we get things like the top of the eyebrows, the tip of the nose, and the cheeks. A lot of these skin tone tutorials follow the same sort of technique. You apply the paint in the same places, you just need to switch the paints around and, and use different colors for the shadows and such. And for this model, it's generally the washers that make it look quite chaotic and tainted, which is what we're going for. Now we're going to increase it a little bit more by using Caraberg Crimson, which is another wash from Games Workshop. And I've already put this around, you can see the cheek area and the eye on this model. But I'm also going to add it around the neck area where the cables go into his neck. Uh, any area you want to look a little bit more bruised or a little bit more, you know, more sore, just add this red wash to it and you can thin it down with medium if you want it to be more of a subtle effect because straight out the pot you can see it just tint it you know it looks red more than anything the final step for this is using pallid witch flesh and all we're going to do here is put like little dots on the top of the nose top of the eyebrows and the cheek area once that's done I mean, you, like I said, you could do multiple steps. You could blend Flayed One Flesh into the Pallid Witch Flesh and apply that before you do this final step. But for a quick paint job, we don't need to do that. We've already used enough colours. So that is the model done. I hope it's helped you. Uh, well, the skin tone done. I hope this has helped. Uh, we've done quite a few different skin tone tutorials. Let me know if there's any in particular that you're interested in knowing how to paint. Let me know in the comments down below or just tell me which one was your favorite so I know what sort of videos you like watching and, and what sort of things you want me to do in the future. But thank you very much for watching this. If you did enjoy it, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we do appreciate everybody who subscribes to us. Uh, other than that, I'll see you on the next video. I'm 
going to leave you the little spinny model of Abaddon at the end here. And remember, you can pick this up from Wargame Exclusive. They've got a range of different miniatures which you can use for different game systems, but primarily I would say they're aimed at Warhammer 40k. There's some uh, funky looking stuff and this is definitely a really good miniature. It's got great quality casting on it as well. The resin was superb with very minimal mold lines. So uh, it is a painting tutorial, not a review on the products, but it's definitely worth checking them out.